Hi everyone. Welcome to Sky Online Academy. Today I am here to teach you the story Robinson Crusoe discovers a footprint. Let me start. Robinson Crusoe. Robinson Crusoe's ship had been destroyed by the sea. Robinson Crusoe is a main character in the story. Once while sailing his ship was destroyed or demolished or damaged by the sea he had been alone for many years and longed for company as a result he was caught in an island and he was residing in that island for many years all alone one day he discovers a footprint on the sand let's find out what he did then one day he found out a footprint on the sand then what happens let us see one day when i was going towards my boat i was surprised to see the footprint of a man on the sand here the pronoun i referred to robinson crusoe one fine day robinson crusoe was walking towards the direction of the boat and he was surprised to see something what did he see he saw a footprint it was the footprint of a man where did he see the footprint he saw the footprint on the sand i stood amazed past tense of stand is stood the meaning of the word amazed is greatly surprised or astonished i stood amazed robinson crusoe was greatly surprised after looking at the footprint children he is not robinson crusoe i have shown this picture to convey the meaning of the word amazed i stood amazed robinson crusoe was standing like a statue standing still after looking at the footprint of a man i listened immediately he started to listen why did he listen only if he listens he can hear the sound of somebody i looked around me also he nodded his head here and there in search of somebody i could neither hear nor see anything what was the result he could not hear anybody's voice at the same time he could not see anybody or anyone i went up higher to look down then he went to the highest peak of the island the highest peak might be uh, the rock he stood on the highest peak and glancing for the people if any could be found i went up the shore and down the shore but it was no good he went up and down the shore but it was worthless the meaning of the word no good is worthless useless what was the result he could not find anybody over there i could find no other footprint but that one observing from the top of the shore he has found out that only one footprint is there on the shore not many not even two i went to it again to see if there were any more footprints and to tell if it had been my imagination once again he went nearer to the footprint to conclude that it was completely his imagination also to find out any other footprint is available any other footprint could be seen 
but i was not mistaken for there was exactly the print of a foot toes heel every part of a foot after witnessing the footprint he came to a conclusion that the footprint is exactly the footprint of a man because it has toes heel and the parts whatever a man has in the foot i could not imagine how it came there he could not even imagine how the footprint has appeared on the sand i stayed a long time thinking but became more and more confused he was thinking about the footprint for many hours what was the result after thinking he did not get any solution he did not find out whose footprint it was he ended up with a confused state he was in a puzzled state at last i returned home very frightened looking behind me after every two or three steps mistaking every bush and tree to be a man at last he has started to walk back to his home in what state he was he was in a fearful state he was very frightened in a fearful state he was walking back towards his home where does he live he lives in a cave could you see the cave in the picture he lives in a cave he calls his cave as a castle what is the meaning of the word castle castle means large building or palace those will be called as castle at last i returned home very frightened looking behind me after every two or three steps mistaking every bush and tree to be a man so he was walking back towards his home that is cave in a fearful state and after two steps he turns back to see whether someone is following him he mistook or he misunderstood every bush to be a man whatever he sees seems to be a man if he sees the tree it seems to be a man for him if he sees the bush those bushes seems to be a man for him why because he is in a fearful state he is very frightened that is why everything whatever he sees seems to be a man for him when i came to my cave which i called my castle i ran inside it as if i was being chased i do not remember whether i used the ladder or went in by the hole in the rock which i called the door when robinson crusoe reached the cave he did not walk instead he ran inside the cave very fast children if someone chases you for example if a dog chases you how will you run you will run very fast right the same way robinson crusoe he ran inside the cave very fast thinking that somebody is chasing him and after entering inside the cave he was thinking how did i enter the cave did i use a ladder or else i have used the hole to enter the cave children he calls this as the door for his cave this is made out of this cave is made out of rock he calls this as the door for his cave robinson crusoe doesn't know how he had entered the cave again he is in a confused state thinking that whether he was using the ladder to enter the cave 
or he was using the hole to enter the cave i ran for cover faster than any animal could run here the word cover refers to shelter protection whom does i refer to i refer to robinson crusoe why did he run that much fast he ran very fast to save god himself no animal could run that much faster like robinson crusoe because he was in a frightened state he was in a fearful state that is why he ran very fast even an animal could not run that much faster like robinson crusoe i did not sleep that night the same day night robinson crusoe did not sleep he was thinking about the footprint which he has seen on the sand the more i thought about what i had seen the more afraid i became if he thinks more and more about the footprint strange footprint his fear has started to increase i thought it could be one of the savages of the mainland who had wandered out to the sea in a small boat then he thought that the footprint might be savages footprint those people would have come from the mainland in a small boat luckily i was not on shore at that time but what if he had seen my boat luckily the word luckily can be replaced with fortunately what does robinson crusoe think he feels that he is lucky he is fortunate why because on that time he feels that when those savage people have landed on the shore he wasn't there on the shore that is why he feels himself as fortunate lucky but what if he had seen my boat also he thinks that what happens if they have seen his boat on the shore if he had seen the boat he would have realized that someone lived on the island and would soon return with others to kill and eat me again he thinks that if they have seen his boat on the shore surely they would have gone and brought other savages back to the island in order to kill and eat him and so i lay fearful for many days and prayed for protection because of his fear he started to pray the almighty for many days he was in a fearful state in doing so i was much comforted and began going out to investigate still robinson crusoe was in a fearful state and as a result he started to pray the almighty in doing so i was much comforted and began going out to investigate if he prays the almighty he feels comfortable so he could be able to go out and examine or investigate about the footprint but even now as i went forward i looked behind me frequently because i was still very frightened even though he prays the almighty he still has the fear and as a result whenever he walks after three steps or after two steps he looks back to find out whether someone is following him however as i went about for two or three days and saw nothing i became a little bolder consistently if he goes two or three days and did not see anything he feels somewhat bolder i decided to go down to the shore again and examine the footprint once more i decided to measure it with my own footmark 
Now Robinson Crusoe has decided something. Number 1. He planned to go down to the shore once again and examine or investigate the footprint. Number 2. He has planned to compare the footprint of him with the footprint on the sea shore. As I came closer to the footprint, I realized that it could not be my footprint because i had not come to this part of the beach since a long time so as of his decision he has come very closer to the footprint to examine examine the footprint first he understood that it is not his footprint why because he has not come to this particular beach for many days secondly as i placed my foot alongside that footprint it seemed larger than my own he placed his footprint on the sand very nearer to the footprint and compared the footprints what was the result the footprint which was available before on the sand was larger than the footprint of him my fear returned again his fear has started i went home again believing that there was someone there he walked back towards his house that is cave in a belief that someone has entered the island the island was inhabited the meaning of the word inhabited is occupied so robinson crusoe concludes with a belief that someone has occupied the island adapted from daniel defoe's robinson crusoe thank you please don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel